When people think of Thomas Edison, they frequently think of him as the man who invented the light bulb, and that's totally fair. But we think of his legacy as much bigger than that. Over 130 years ago, Thomas Edison did two really important things back in 1892. He founded the General Electric Company, and he started the electrification revolution. On April 2nd, 2024, GE Vernova got to ring the bell on the New York Stock Exchange, and in doing so, we became a separate company from General Electric. We became this purpose-built company focused on electrifying and decarbonizing the planet. Our mission today to use innovation technology does honor to Thomas Edison by lifting up the quality of life for people all over the world. We are looking to innovate not for the sake of discovery, but for the sake of really making an impact on the world. We really have the opportunity to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, to take a leadership role in the energy transition, to create these more sustainable products. And that's where this startup mindset kind of really kicks in for us. Our sustainability framework is really core to our company. It's core to our team. We like to describe it with these four different pillars. We have decarbonization, electrification, we have conserve and we have thrive, and each of those has leading goals that help us really think through how we're able to impact the world. GE Vernova's biggest strength is we have the most diverse portfolio of energy technologies of any company in the world. We have the world's most efficient gas turbines, and we have an amazing portfolio of nuclear energy. A lot of that connected to the work we're doing and building here in Building 273 in Schenectady. We also want to grow renewable energy as quickly as possible to complement that dispatchable power, but also to help reduce the carbon intensity of emissions. And then in addition to that, we have the grid itself. And we have an amazing suite of technologies that keep the grid working, like transformers and switchgear, HVDC to transmit electricity over long distances, and software that manages the electrons in real time and protects against threats like cybersecurity, growing demand, and even weather events. So this diversity enables us to tailor technologies to our markets, to our customers, so that we can help the whole planet meet the goals of electrification and decarbonization. With the um, drive towards decarbonization and the energy transition, it requires innovative solutions and cutting edge problem solving. Working at a company at the forefront of the industry is just like a really exciting place to be. The Stafford site is working towards driving the energy transition forward and building a more sustainable electric power system through their immense manufacturing capacity. So we have three manufacturing sites in Stafford alone. So for such a small town, that's a really big feat. Over 30% of the electricity generated in the UK is produced by equipment built by GE Vernova. So here in Stafford at GE Vernova we're going through a huge transformation. Starting with our transformer factory where we are working to increase the capacity to meet the demand for our high voltage direct current transformers. Our high voltage direct current business and our products are very, very key to the energy transition. They're a very reliable and efficient, effective way of transferring large bulk volume of energy from the source to the consumer. We have this increasing demand for electricity. We have uh, power grids that increasingly have issues. We can't just expect people to suddenly use less electricity. That's not really a solution. So you think about different breakthroughs that we have in different businesses. One of the technologies that we've spent a lot of time looking at is carbon capture and sequestration. As we think about some of the technologies that are going to enable us to leverage more power, gas power is something that can really bring power to people when they need it at the time that they need it. With carbon capture, we're literally pulling carbon out of the air, the sequestration, putting it into the ground, and that enables us to be able to use technologies and make them lower carbon as well. So for me, it feels very important to be making a difference in our world today. 
We work with a huge team of people globally who are impassioned about what they do and the impact they can make for the customers and for our future. We have a tremendous range of products, a lot of which are manufactured here in Stafford, which we're very proud of, which support the energy transition. There's a lot of problems to be solved. I believe the intersection of sustainability and development lies in engineering. So knowing that you're going in every day and you're making a positive contribution is very exciting. But also being at the forefront of these cutting edge solutions. As decarbonizing and electrifying, I personally find that very inspiring and I hope the next generation finds it inspiring as well.